This is the plan of Wang Shuyuan, also called Master of the Fishing Nets. As you can see, there's a central pond that acts as the focal point of the entire garden, with multiple structures surrounding it. The pond acts as a material in the design, reflecting the surrounding environment, including the trees, the sky, and the buildings. At night, there are lights defining the edges of the architecture, which reflect off the lake. The garden is equally as interesting at night than it is during the day because of this. There are bridges and walkways that connect the structures, diverting the guest over the lake and through the various gardens, creating an extremely dynamic experience. Sometimes the paths are covered, creating a more secluded experience, and sometimes they are completely open, integrating the guest experience with the environment. The materials of the ground change constantly, from wood to stone to gravel, which forces the guest to pay attention to the many small details of the garden. Many rooms are formed by entrances like this one, which frames the visible landscape and points to elements of the garden that are important, such as another building or pavilion. The walls and gates of the garden are all very similar to this one, very decorative and ornate. This follows typical styles of Ming Dynasty architecture, which is when it was originally built. This is a typical Chinese painting of the garden, which was very common at that time. Wang Shiyuan was and still is considered one of China's most beautiful gardens, and is very popular and praised because of that. The way in which the buildings were designed create the illusion that the architecture is floating on or hovering over the water. Every single aspect of the garden was thought over and purposely designed that way for a reason. The experience of the garden changes along with the seasons, mostly because of the landscape. The trees and other plants change color, creating a different dynamic than the other seasons. For all of these reasons, Wangsha Yuan should definitely be considered an extremely privileged space.